Hi, I'm James, and I've come along today to learn all about mechanical engineering and uh, what the job itself entails and all the bips and bobs as to what goes on. Mechanical engineering is all about the designing and building of mechanical devices to do the jobs people can't or don't want to do. A mechanical engineering technician designs mechanical components to precise calculations to suit its intended purpose. Then, with computer-aided drawing or CAD, the manufacturing process of that part begins. Today, they'll be taking a CAD drawing and making a shaft and sprocket component for a box folding machine. Uh, we're going to design up a couple of parts, we're going to have a sprocket, some bearings, some bits and pieces on it, um, and then we'll go and manufacture the parts this afternoon. Cool. Mechanical engineering will start off with design, um, and then you've got uh, the workshop element of it, which is um, manufacturing the parts, um, and then assembling machinery. Um, and then installation and commissioning on site. And then towards the end, you inevitably get involved in programming and software, um, that sort of stuff. So there's some electrical content in there as well. So, yeah, I'm certainly not stuck behind my desk from 9 to 5, that's for sure. Firstly, I think you need to be a relatively practically minded person, be good in a team environment, and very importantly, I think problem solving skills is something that, that you need to have, being able to work through a problem and come up with a solution. Mechanical engineering technicians need a good understanding of all manufacturing processes, including welding. The further you push the pedal, the faster you go, so the more heat you generate. A technician in this field would oversee the entire design and manufacturing process to ensure the work is done to specification and to a high quality. Robotics is a rapidly advancing field within mechanical engineering. Chris and James set to work calibrating this carton palletizing machine to stack over 30 cartons per minute. Chris went on to complete his mechanical engineering apprenticeship, then went on to higher study with his national diploma in engineering equivalency giving him the necessary design, mathematical and programming skills for his technician's role. And that was 10 years ago. Wow, 10 years. So after I finished my apprenticeship, I got started, started programming, design work, and uh, now I get to play with these things. Back at the AutoMac workshop, the sprocket and shaft part is ready to be installed. The tray former machine takes a piece of flat cardboard and makes over 830 boxes per hour. So we'll, uh, we'll take your part, we'll install it in the machine and see if it works, eh? Yep, let's give it a try. Excellent. Personally, I find mechanical engineering very rewarding. The main reason for that is we take an idea that we've been given by a customer or an idea that we've worked on with the customer. We take that idea and we go away and we design a solution. We build some equipment, we install the equipment and see it running. So we've taken an idea and turned it into reality. And, uh, that's, that's personally very rewarding. Press start and see, see if your cart works. All right, let's go. Cool. I think there'll always be a need for mechanical engineering. Almost every, every industry needs mechanical engineering, so I think it's a, a very solid career choice. It's always evolving and there's always a new challenge around the course, so you should hopefully never get bored. He, um, he's definitely got quite a practical aptitude, so that's really important. Um, he's, uh, he's, he was really keen to get involved and just get stuck in, so that's also a really good quality, so I think James will do really well in this profession. Mechanical engineering, yeah, it's exciting. Um, there's definitely a lot that goes on. Lots of excitement, lots of skills you need to learn on the job, and it's a skill I can now take away with me and uh, put to use somewhere. There is a real shortage of mechanical engineering technicians in New Zealand, and the chances of getting a job are good. Useful subjects to study at school include English, maths, physics, chemistry, and graphics. To become a mechanical engineering technician, a national diploma in engineering level 6 is recommended. This takes two years of full-time study, or you can complete your diploma as a cadet.